The Rahistan inscription is a multilingual inscription and large rock relief on a cliff at Mount Rahistan in the Kermanshah province of Iran, near the city of Kermanshah in western Iran, established by Darius the Great, ruled 522-486 BC. It was crucial to the decipherment of cuneiform script as the inscription includes three versions of the same text, written in three different cuneiform script languages, Old Persian, Elamite, and Babylonian, a variety of Akkadian. The inscription is to cuneiform what the Rosetta Stone is to Egyptian hieroglyphs, the document most crucial in the decipherment of a previously lost script authored by Darius the Great sometime between his coronation as king of the Persian Empire in the summer of 522 BC and his death in autumn of 486 BC, the inscription begins with a brief autobiography of Darius, including his ancestry and lineage. Later in the inscription, Darius provides a lengthy sequence of events following the deaths of Cyrus the Great and Cambyses II in which he fought 19 battles in a period of one year ending in December 521 BC, to put down multiple rebellions throughout the Persian Empire. The inscription states in detail that the rebellions, which had resulted from the deaths of Cyrus the Great and his son Cambyses II, were orchestrated by several impostors and their co-conspirators in various cities throughout the empire, each of whom falsely proclaimed himself king during the upheaval following Cyrus's death. Darius the Great proclaimed himself victorious in all battles during the period of upheaval, attributing his success to the grace of Ahura Mazda. The inscription is approximately 15 meters high by 25 meters wide and 100 meters up a limestone cliff from an ancient road connecting the capitals of Babylonia and Media, Babylon and Ekbatana, respectively. The Old Persian text contains 414 lines in five columns, the Elamite text includes 593 lines in 8 columns, and the Babylonian text is in 112 lines. The inscription was illustrated by a life-sized bar-leaf of Darius I, the Great, holding a bow as a sign of kingship, with his left foot on the chest of a figure lying on his back before him. The supine figure is reputed to be the pretender Gomeda. Darius is attended to the left by two servants, and nine one-meter figures stand to the right with hands tied and rope around their necks, representing conquered peoples. A farvar floats above, giving its blessing to the king. One figure appears to have been added after the others were completed, as was Darius's beard, which is a separate block of stone attached with iron pins and lead. German surveyor Karsten Niebuhr visited in around 1764 for Frederick V of Denmark, publishing a copy of the inscription in the account of his journeys in 1778. Niebuhr's transcriptions were used by Georg Friedrich Grotefend and others in their efforts to decipher the Old Persian cuneiform script. Grotefend had deciphered 10 of the 37 symbols of Old Persian by 1802, after realizing that unlike the Semitic cuneiform scripts, Old Persian text is alphabetic and each word is separated by a vertical slanted symbol. The Old Persian text was copied and deciphered before recovery and copying of the Elamite and Babylonian inscriptions had even been attempted, which proved to be a good deciphering strategy, since Old Persian script was easier to study due to its alphabetic nature and because the language it represents had naturally evolved via Middle Persian to the living modern Persian language dialects, and was also related to the Avestan language, used in the Zoroastrian book The Avesta. In 1835, Sir Henry Rawlinson, an officer of the British East India Company army assigned to the forces of the Shah of Iran, began studying the inscription in earnest. As the town of Baisatan's name was anglicized as Bahistan at this time, the monument became known as the Bahistan inscription. Despite its relative inaccessibility, Rawlinson was able to scale the cliff with the help of a local boy and copy the old Persian inscription. The Elamite was across a chasm and the Babylonian four meters above, both were beyond easy reach and were left for later. With the Persian text, and with about a third of the syllabary made available to him by the work of Georg Friedrich Rotefend, Rawlinson set to work on deciphering the text. The first section of this text contained a list of the same Persian kings found in Herodotus but in their original Persian forms as opposed to Herodotus's Greek transliterations. For example Darius is given as the original Daryavis instead of the Hellenized Darius. By matching the names and the characters, 
Rawlinson deciphered the type of cuneiform used for Old Persian by 1838 and presented his results to the Royal Asiatic Society in London and the Société Asiatique in Paris. In the interim, Rawlinson spent a brief tour of duty in Afghanistan, returning to the site in 1843. This time he crossed the chasm between the Persian and Elamite scripts by bridging the gap with planks, subsequently copying the Elamite inscription. He found an enterprising local boy to climb up a crack in the cliff and suspend ropes across the Babylonian writing, so that paper mache casts of the inscriptions could be taken. Rawlinson, along with several other scholars, most notably Edward Hanks, Julius Oppert, William Henry Fox Talbot, and Edwin Norris, either working separately or in collaboration, eventually deciphered these inscriptions, leading eventually to the ability to read them completely. The translation of the old Persian sections of the Bahistun inscription paved the way to the subsequent ability to decipher the Elamite and Babylonian parts of the text, which greatly promoted the development of modern Assyriology. Column 1. 1. I am Darius, the great king, king of kings, the king of Persia, the king of countries, the son of Hustaspes, the grandson of Asames, the Achaemenid. 2. King Darius says, My father is Hystaspes, the father of Hystaspes was Asames, the father of Asames was Ariaramnes, the father of Ariaramnes was Taspes, the father of Taspes was Achaemenes. 3. King Darius says, That is why we are called Achaemenids, from antiquity we have been noble, from antiquity has our dynasty been royal. 4. King Darius says, Eight of my dynasty were kings before me, I am the ninth. Nine in succession we have been kings. 5. King Darius says, By the grace of Ahira Mazda am I king, Ahira Mazda has granted me the kingdom. 6. King Darius says, These are the countries which are subject unto me, and by the grace of Ahira Mazda I became king of them, Persia, Elam, Babylonia, Assyria, Arabia, Egypt, the countries by the sea, Lydia, the Greeks, Ionia, Media, Armenia, Cappadocia, Parthia, Drangiana, Arya, Charesmia, Bactria, Sogdia, Gondara, Scythia, Sotagidia, Arachasia and Maka, 23 lands in all. 7. King Darius says, These are the countries which are subject to me, by the grace of Ahura Mazda they became subject to me, they brought tribute unto me. Whatsoever commands have been laid on them by me, by night or by day, have been performed by them. 8. King Darius says, Within these lands, whosoever was a friend, him have I surely protected, whosoever was hostile, him have I utterly destroyed. By the grace of Ahura Mazda these lands have conformed to my decrees, as it was commanded unto them by me, so was it done. 9. King Darius says, Ahura Mazda has granted unto me this empire. Ahura Mazda brought me help, until I gained this empire, by the grace of Ahura Mazda do I hold this empire. 10. King Darius says, The following is what was done by me after I became king. A son of Cyrus, named Cambyses, one of our dynasty, was king here before me. That Cambyses had a brother, Smyrtus by name, of the same mother and the same father as Cambyses. Afterwards, Cambyses slew this Smyrtus. When Cambyses slew Smyrtus, it was not known unto the people that Smyrtus was slain. Thereupon Cambyses went to Egypt. When Cambyses had departed into Egypt, the people became hostile, and the lie multiplied in the land, even in Persia and Media, and in the other provinces. 11. King Darius says, Afterwards, there was a certain man, a Magian, Guamada by name, who raised the rebellion in Peshiavada, in a mountain called Aracadris. On the fourteenth day of the month Vyazana, 11th of March 522 BC, did he rebel. He lied to the people saying, I am Smyrtus, the son of Cyrus, the brother of Cambyses. Then were all the people in revolt, and from Cambyses they went over unto him, both Persia and Media, and the other provinces. He seized the kingdom, on the ninth day of the month Garmapada, 1st of July 522 BC, he seized the kingdom. Afterwards, Cambyses died of natural causes. 12. King Darius says, The kingdom of which Gomida, the Magian, dispossessed Cambyses, had always belonged to our dynasty. After that Golmada, the Magian, had dispossessed Cambyses of Persia and Media, and of the other provinces, he did according to his will. 
he became king. 13. King Darius says, There was no man, either Persian or Mede or of our own dynasty, who took the kingdom from Gomeda, the Magian. The people feared him exceedingly, for he slew many who had known the real Smyrtus. For this reason did he slay them, that they may not know that I am not Smyrtus, the son of Cyrus. There was none who dared to act against Gomeda, the Magian, until I came. Then I prayed to Ahira Mazda, Ahira Mazda brought me help. On the tenth day of the month Bagayatis, 29th of September 522 BC, I, with a few men, slew that Gomeda, the Magian, and the chief men who were his followers. At the stronghold called Sikaiovitus, in the district called Nisaea in Media, I slew him, I dispossessed him of the kingdom. By the grace of Ahura Mazda I became king, Ahura Mazda granted me the kingdom. 14. King Darius says, The kingdom that had been wrested from our line I brought back and I re-established it on its foundation. The temples which Golmuda, the Magian, had destroyed, I restored to the people, and the pasture lands, and the herds and the dwelling places, and the houses which Gomeda, the Magian, had taken away. I settled the people in their place, the people of Persia, and Media, and the other provinces. I restored that which had been taken away, as it was in the days of old. This did I by the grace of Ahira Mazda, I labored until I had established our dynasty in its place, as in the days of old, I labored, by the grace of Ahira Mazda, so that Gomeda, the Magian, did not dispossess our house. 15. King Darius says, This was what I did after I became king. 16. King Darius says, After I had slain Gomeda, the Magian, a certain man named Asena, the son of Upadharma, raised a rebellion in Eolam, and he spoke thus unto the people of Eolam, I am king in Eolam. Thereupon the people of Eolam became rebellious, and they went over unto that Asena, he became king in Eolam. And a certain Babylonian named Nadin Tubal, the son of Kinzer, raised a rebellion in Babylon, he lied to the people, saying, I am Nebuchadnezzar, the son of Nabonidus. Then did all the province of Babylonia go over to Nidon to Bel, and Babylonia rose in rebellion. He seized on the kingdom of Babylonia, 3rd of October 522 BC. 17. King Darius says, Then I sent, an envoy, to Elam. That Asena was brought unto me in fetters, and I killed him. 18. King Darius says, Then I marched against that Nidon to Bel, who called himself Nebuchadnezzar. The army of Nidon and Tubel held the Tigris, there it took its stand, and on account of the waters, the river, was unfordable. Thereupon I supported my army on, inflated, skins, others I made dromedary born, for the rest I brought horses. Ahira Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahira Mazda we crossed the Tigris. Then did I utterly overthrow that host of Nidon and Tubel. On the twenty-sixth day of the month Asia 13th of December 522 BC, we joined battle. 19. King Darius says, After that I marched against Babylon. But before I reached Babylon, that night in Tubel, who called himself Nebuchadnezzar, came with a host and offered battle at a city called Zazana, on the Euphrates. Then we joined battle. Ahira Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahira Mazda did I utterly overthrow the host of night in Tubel. The enemy fled into the water the water carried them away. On the second day of the month in Omega, 18th of December 522 BC, we joined battle. Column 2. 20. King Darius says, Then did Nid and Tubel flee with a few horsemen into Babylon. Thereupon I marched to Babylon. By the grace of Ahura Mazda I took Babylon, and captured Nid and Tubel. Then I slew that Nid and Tubel in Babylon. 21. King Darius says, While I was in Babylon, these provinces revolted from me, Persia, Elam, Media, Assyria, Egypt, Parthia, Margiana, Sadagidia, and Scythia. 22. King Darius says, A certain man named Martia, the son of Zenzigris, dwelt in a city in Persia called Kuganaka. This man revolted in Elam, and he said to the people, I am Ammonis, king in Elam. 23. King Darius says, At that time, I was friendly with Elam. Then there were Elamites afraid of me, and that Martia, who was their leader, they seized and slew. 24. King Darius says, A certain Mede named Fortz revolted in Media, and he said to the people, I am Xathrita, 
of the family of Syaxares. Then did the Medes who were in the palace revolt from me and go over to Frauerts. He became king in Media. 25, King Darius says, The Persian and Median army, which was with me, was small. Yet I sent forth an other army. A Persian named Hadarnes, my servant, I made their leader, and I said unto him, Go, smite that Median host which does not acknowledge me. Then Hadarnes marched forth with the army. When he had come to Media, at a city in Media called Maris, he gave battle to the Medes. He who was chief among the Medes was not there at that time. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda my army utterly defeated that rebel host. On the 27th day of the month in Omega, 12th of January 521, the battle was fought by them. Then did my army await me in a district in Media called Kamponda, until I came into Media. 26, King Darius says, An Armenian named Adarsi, my servant, I sent into Armenia, and I said unto him, Go, smite that host which is in revolt and does not acknowledge me. Then Dadarsi went forth. When he came into Armenia, the rebels assembled and advanced against Dadarsi to give him battle. At a place in Armenia called Zusa they fought the battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda did my army utterly overthrow that rebel host. On the eighth day of the month Theravahara, 20th of May 521 BC, the battle was fought by them. 27, King Darius says, the rebels assembled for the second time, and they advanced against Adarsi to give him battle. At a stronghold in Armenia called Tigra they joined battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda did my army utterly overthrow that rebel host. On the 18th day of the month Theravahara, 30th of May 521 BC, the battle was fought by them. 28, King Darius says, the rebels assembled for the third time and advanced against Adarsi to give him battle. At a stronghold in Armenia called Ayama they joined battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda did my army utterly overthrow that rebel host. On the ninth day of the month Tigasi, 20th of June 521 BC, the battle was fought by them. Then Dadarsi waited for me in Armenia, until I came into Armenia. 29. King Darius says, a Persian named Valmiza, my servant, I sent into Armenia, and I said unto him, Go, smite that host which is in revolt, and does not acknowledge me. Then Valmiza went forth. When he had come to Armenia, the rebels assembled and advanced against Valmiza to give him battle. At a place in Assyria called Azala they joined battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda did my army utterly overthrow that rebel host. On the 15th day of the month in Omega, 31st of December 522 BC, the battle was fought by them. 30, King Darius says, the rebels assembled a second time and advanced against Valmiza to give him battle. At a place in Armenia called Adiara they joined battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda did my army utterly overthrow that rebel host. At the end of the month the Ravahara, 11th of June 521 BC, the battle was fought by them. Then Valmiza awaited for me in Armenia, until I came into Armenia. 31, King Darius says, Then I went forth from Babylon and came into Media. When I had come to Media, that Fraorts, who called himself King in Media, came against me unto a city in Media called Kunduruz to offer battle. Then we joined battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda did my army utterly overthrow that rebel host. On the 25th day of the month at Ukhani's 8th of May 521 BC, we fought the battle. 32, King Darius says, Thereupon that Fraorts fled thence with a few horsemen to a district in Media called Draghi. Then I sent an army in pursuit. Fraorts was taken and brought unto me. I cut off his nose, his ears, and his tongue, and I put out one eye, and he was kept in fetters at my palace entrance, and all the people beheld him. Then did I crucify him in Ekbatana, and the men who were his foremost followers, those at Ekbatana within the fortress, I flayed and hung out their hides, stuffed with straw. 33, King Darius says, A man named Tritan Tachms, a Sigarshan, revolted from me, saying to his people, I am king in Sigarsha, of the family of Syaxares. Then I sent forth the Persian and a Median army. A me named Tikmaspada, my servant, I made their leader, 
And I said unto him, Go, smite that host which is in revolt, and does not acknowledge me. Thereupon Tikmaspada went forth with the army, and he fought a battle with Tritantachms. Ahira Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahira Mazda my army utterly defeated that rebel host, and they seized Tritantachms and brought him unto me. Afterwards I cut off both his nose and ears, and put out one eye, he was kept bound at my palace entrance, all the people saw him. Afterwards I crucified him in Arbella. 34. King Darius says, This is what was done by me in Media. 35. King Darius says, The Parthians and Hyrcanians revolted from me, and they declared themselves on the side of frauds. My father Hystaspes was in Parthia, and the people forsook him, they became rebellious. Then Hystaspes marched forth with the troops which had remained faithful. At a city in Parthia called Vespasatus he fought a battle with the Parthians. Ahira Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahira Mazda my army utterly defeated that rebel host. On the second day of the month Vyazena, 8th of March 521, the battle was fought by them. Column 3. 36, King Darius says, Then did I send a Persian army unto Hystaspes from Ragi. When that army reached Hystaspes, he marched forth with the host. At a city in Parthia called Padikrabana he gave battle to the rebels. Ahira Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahira Mazda Hystaspes utterly defeated that rebel host. On the first day of the month Garmapada, 11th of July 521, the battle was fought by them. 37, King Darius says, Then was the province mine. This is what was done by me in Parthia. 38, King Darius says, The province called Margiana revolted against me. A certain Margian named Frada they made their leader. Then sent I against him a Persian named Adarsi, my servant, who was satrap of Bactria, and I said unto him, Go, smite that host which does not acknowledge me. Then Dadarsi went forth with the army, and gave battle to the margins. Ahira Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahira Mazda my army utterly overthrew that rebel host. Of the 23rd day of the month Asia Yadia, 28th of December 521, was the battle fought by them. 39, King Darius says, Then was the province mine. This is what was done by me in Bactria. 40, King Darius says, A certain man named Vayasdadid dwelt in a city called Tarava in a district in Persia called Vatia. This man rebelled for the second time in Persia, and thus he spoke unto the people, I am Smyrtus, the son of Cyrus. Then the Persian people who were in the palace fell away from allegiance. They revolted from me and went over to that Vayasdada. He became king in Persia. 41, King Darius says, then did I send out the Persian and the Median army which was with me. A Persian named Artavardia, my servant, I made their leader. The rest of the Persian army came unto me in Media. Then went Artavardia with the army unto Persia. When he came to Persia, at a city in Persia called Raqqa, that Vayasdada, who called himself Smyrtus, advanced with the army against Artavardia to give him battle. They then fought the battle. Ahira Mazda brought me help. By the grace of Ahura Mazda my host utterly overthrew the army of Vyazdata. On the twelfth day of the month Theravahara, 24th of May 521, was the battle fought by them. 42, King Darius says, Then that Vyazdata fled thence with a few horsemen unto Pishyavada. From that place he went forth with an army a second time against Ardavardia to give him battle. At a mountain called Parga they fought the battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help. By the grace of Ahura Mazda my host utterly overthrew the army of Vyazdata. On the fifth day of the month Garmapada, 15th of July 521, was the battle fought by them. And they seized that Vyazdata, and the men who were his chief followers were also seized. 43, King Darius says, Then did I crucify that Vyazdata and the men who were his chief followers in a city in Persia called Uvada Ikaya. 44, King Darius says, this is what was done by me in Persia. 45, King Darius says, that Vyastata, who called himself Smyrtus, sent men to Arachasia against a Persian named Vivana, my servant, the satrap of Arachasia. He appointed a certain man to be their leader, and thus he spoke to him, saying, Go smite Vivana and the host which acknowledges King Darius. Then the army that Vyastata had sent marched against Vivana to give him battle. 
at a fortress called Kapisa Canis, equals Kandahar, they fought the battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda my army utterly overthrew that rebel host. On the 13th day of the month Anamega, 29th of December 522, was the battle fought by them. 46, King Darius says, the rebels assembled a second time and went out against Vivana to give him battle. At a place called Gandutava they fought a battle. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda my army utterly overthrew that rebel host. On the seventh day of the month Vyazana, 21st of February 521, the battle was fought by them. 47, King Darius says, the man who was commander of that army that Vyasdata had sent forth against Vivenna fled thence with a few horsemen. They went to a fortress in Arrakisia called Asada. Then Vivanna with the army marched after them on foot. There he seized him, and he slew the men who were his chief followers. 48, King Darius says, Then was the province mine. This is what was done by me in Arrakisia. 49, King Darius says, While I was in Persia and in Media, the Babylonians revolted from me a second time. A certain man named Erica, an Armenian, son of Huldita, rebelled in Babylon. At a place called Dabala, he lied unto the people, saying, I am Nebuchadnezzar, the son of Nabonidus. Then did the Babylonian people revolt from me and they went over to that Erica. He seized Babylon, he became king in Babylon. 50, King Darius says, Then did I send an army unto Babylon. A Persian named Antaphrenes, my servant, I appointed as their leader, and thus I spoke unto them, Go, smite that Babylonian host which does not acknowledge me. Then Antaphrenes marched with the army unto Babylon. Ahura Mazda brought me help, by the grace of Ahura Mazda Antaphrenes overthrew the Babylonians and brought over the people unto me. On the 22nd day of the month Markashanas, 27th of November, they seized that Erica who called himself Nebuchadnezzar, and the men who were his chief followers. Then I made a decree, saying, Let that Erica and the men who were his chief followers be crucified in Babylon. Column 4. 51, King Darius says, This is what was done by me in Babylon. 52, King Darius says, This is what I have done. By the grace of Ahura Mazda have I always acted. After I became king, I fought 19 battles in a single year and by the grace of Ahura Mazda I overthrew 9 kings and I made them captive. One was named Golmada, the Magian, he lied, saying I am Smyrtus, the son of Cyrus. He made Persia to revolt. Another was named Asena, the Elamite, he lied, saying, I am king the king of Elam. He made Elam to revolt. Another was named Nidin Tubel, the Babylonian, he lied, saying, I am Nebuchadnezzar, the son of Nabonidus. He made Babylon to revolt. Another was named Martia, the Persian, he lied, saying, I am Amanus, the king of Elam. He made Elam to revolt. Another was Fraorts, the Mede, he lied, saying, I am Ktathrita, of the dynasty of Syaxares. He made Media to revolt. Another was Tritantachms, the Sigarshan, he lied, saying, I am king in Sigarsha, of the dynasty of Syaxares. He made Sigarsha to revolt. Another was named Frada, of Margiana, he lied, saying, I am king of Margiana. He made Margiana to revolt. Another was Vyasdata, a Persian, he lied, saying, I am Smyrtus, the son of Cyrus. He made Persia to revolt. Another was Erica, an Armenian, he lied, saying, I am Nebuchadnezzar, son of Nabonidus. He made Babylon to revolt. 53, King Darius says, These nine kings did I capture in these wars. 54, King Darius says, As to these provinces which revolted, lies made them revolt, so that they deceived the people. Then Ahura Mazda delivered them into my hand, and I did unto them according to my will. 55, King Darius says, You who shall be king hereafter, protect yourself vigorously from lies, punish the liars well, if thus you shall think, may my country be secure. 56, King Darius says, This is what I have done, by the grace of Ahura Mazda have I always acted. Whosoever shall read this inscription hereafter, let that which I have done be believed. You must not hold it to be lies. 57, King Darius says, I call Ahura Mazda to witness that is true and not lies, 
all of it have I done in a single year. 58, King Darius says, By the grace of Ahira Mazda I did much more, which is not graven in this inscription. On this account it has not been inscribed lest he who shall read this inscription hereafter should then hold that which has been done by me to be excessive and not believe it and takes it to be lies. 59, King Darius says, Those who were the former kings, as long as they lived, by them was not done thus as by the favor of Ahira Mazda was done by me in one and the same year. 60, King Darius says, Now let what has been done by me convince you. For the sake of the people, do not conceal it. If you do not conceal this edict but if you publish it to the world, then may Ahura Mazda be your friend, may your family be numerous, and may you live long. 61, King Darius says, If you conceal this edict and do not publish it to the world, may Ahura Mazda slay you and may your house cease. 62, King Darius says, This is what I have done in one single year, by the grace of Ahura Mazda have I always acted. Ahira Mazda brought me help, and the other gods, all that there are. 63, King Darius says, On this account Ahira Mazda brought me help, and all the other gods, all that there are, because I was not wicked, nor was I a liar, nor was I a despot, neither I nor any of my family. I have ruled according to righteousness. Neither to the weak nor to the powerful did I do wrong. Whosoever helped my house, can I favored, he who is hostile, can I destroyed. 64, King Darius says, You who may be king hereafter, whosoever shall be a liar or a rebel, or shall not be friendly, punish him. 65, King Darius says, You who shall hereafter see this tablet, which I have written, or these sculptures, do not destroy them, but preserve them so long as you live. 66, King Darius says, If you shall behold this inscription or these sculptures, and shall not destroy them, but shall preserve them as long as your line endures, then may Ahura Mazda be your friend, and may your family be numerous. Live long, and may Ahura Mazda make fortunate whatsoever you do. 67, King Darius says, If you shall behold this inscription or these sculptures, and shall destroy them and shall not preserve them so long as your line endures, may Ahura Mazda slay you, may your family come to naught, and may Ahura Mazda destroy whatever you do. 68, King Darius says, These are the men who were with me when I slew Gamada the Magian, who was called Smyrtus, then these men helped me as my followers. In Chaphrenes, son of Vahuspera, a Persian. Otanes, son of Thucra, a Persian. Gobrias, son of Mardonius, a Persian. Hadarnes, son of Bagabigna, a Persian. Megabizus, son of Dataviya, a Persian. Arjumanes, son of Vikika, a Persian. 69, King Darius says, You who may be king hereafter, protect the family of these men. 70, King Darius says, By the grace of Ahura Mazda this is the inscription which I have made. Besides, it was an Aryan script, and it was composed on clay tablets and on parchment. Besides, a sculptured figure of myself I made. Besides, I made my lineage. And it was inscribed and was read off before me. Afterwards this inscription I sent off everywhere among the provinces. The people unitedly worked upon it. Column 5. 71, King Darius says, The following is what I did in the second and third year of my rule. The province called Elam revolted from me. A Neolamite named Adama Eda they made their leader. Then I sent an army unto Elam. A Persian named Gobriyaz, my servant, I made their leader. Then Gobriyaz set forth with the army, he delivered battle against the Elamites. Then Gobriyaz destroyed many of the host and that Adama Eda, their leader, he captured, and he brought him unto me, and I killed him. Then the province became mine. 72, King Darius says, Those Elamites were faithless and Ahura Mazda was not worshipped by them. I worshipped Ahura Mazda, by the grace of Ahura Mazda I did unto them according to my will. 73, King Darius says, Whoso shall worship Ahura Mazda, divine blessing will be upon him, both while living and when dead. 74, King Darius says, Afterwards with an army I went off to Scythia, after the Scythians who wear the pointed cap. These Scythians went from me. When I arrived at the river, I crossed beyond it then with all my army. Afterwards, I smote the Scythians exceedingly. One of their leaders, I took captive, 
he was led bound to me, and I killed him. Another, chief of them, by name Skunka, they seized and led to me. Then I made another their chief, as was my desire. Then the province became mine. 75, King Darius says, those Scythians were faithless and Ahura Mazda was not worshipped by them. I worshipped Ahura Mazda, by the grace of Ahura Mazda I did unto them according to my will. 76, King Darius says, whoso shall worship Ahura Mazda, divine blessing will be upon him, both while living and when dead.